friends! For my 200th day as a raw vegan, I thought I'd celebrate with a fancy plated lunch. We start with a third of a cup of soaked cashews, and you can use sesame seeds instead if you want to, half of a red pepper, the juice of one lime, or you can use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and my favorite spice of all time, smoked paprika. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon of that, and we can dash a little bit of salt in there. We will also use six pitted dates. You can add more if you want it a little sweeter. We're going to go mix this in the Vitamix with some water to make our sauce. For a thicker sauce, you can add more cashews and sesame. For a nuttier flavor, you can add about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and you can adjust the spices as desired. Let's set that aside and work on our cauliflower. You can cut this in half, but it makes a mess, so I like to chop the little pieces off from the inside. I'm probably going to use about half of this cauliflower for this recipe. We're going to take the pieces and wash them and we will add them to our Vitamix. Now you don't need to put all of these in the Vitamix, it's very hard to blend this way. I will blend them a couple cauliflower florets at a time just so it's easier on the Vitamix. Once they're, they look a little bit like rice, then we can scoop them into our bowl. As you can see, I'm doing a little bit at a time and then going back to blend a little bit more. And there we go. There is our cauliflower all blended. Now we're going to mix a bunch of different things into this. It will be our filling for our little pepper boats. Set that aside and we're going to chop up our vegetables. I like to use a lot of spring onions in this recipe. I'm using three but you could use two or one or leave them out, it's all up to you. Chop those nice and fine and I'm going to put a couple aside just for garnish and the rest will go right into our bowl. Next up, cucumbers. I'm going to cut these little guys and you can cut them extra super thin, it just depends on how much time you want to spend on chopping them. I'm just going to chop them into quarters. Add those to the bowl. And keep going until you have all of your cucumbers chopped up. The smaller the pieces, the better, but again, it doesn't matter, however you want to do it. Then we have a couple peppers that we're going to put in there just for extra color. I'm going to do a yellow one. And you can put as many peppers as you want in this dressing. I'm only going to do two little ones. So here is our bowl of veggies. We're going to give it a little love by mixing it up before we add our dressing. We can add our dressing. I want you to make sure that you leave enough dressing after for a couple scoops because we're going to be decorating our plate, but we also need uh, about three scoops for the dressing that's going to be going on our tomatoes and salad. Once this is totally stirred, you can set this aside. It will be our filling. You can also eat this as a salad if you want. Now to chop these so that they sit properly, you want to chop them on the thin side. Figure that out by letting it lay flat and then turning it on its side. That is where you want to chop it. This way, the peppers will lay flat on your plate without rolling all over the place. Chop off the end and take out the centers. They lay flat, so that is how you want to cut them. So you can just test by letting it lay flat and then just turn it on the side. And here we have all the peppers that we're going to use for this dish. 
gonna set those aside and we're gonna make the dressing that we're going to put on our salad. You could even just make this dressing for any salad because it's absolutely delicious. Take a couple scoops of your cashew cheese and put them in about a tablespoon or two of lime juice. One tablespoon is good or two if you want it to be extra sour and intense. Add a couple scoops to this and stir it up really well. Now this is your dressing. It is so good. It should be runny or you can make it thicker if you want. It's totally up to you. Now it's time to decorate. We're going to take our cashew cheese and take one scoop and put a dollop on your plate. Make sure you clean the bottom of the spoon off and then give it a swirl. And we'll just keep doing that down the plate. We just put a little dollop, clean the back of the spoon, and give it a swirl. This is so much fun. I love doing this and I thought that I would just show you guys how you can dress up your raw dishes with a little bit of extra presentation. Keep in mind that what I'm plating here is definitely not enough food for me, so I'm probably going to chop up a bunch more extra red peppers, and I will use those to scoop my cauliflower salad, and I'll probably just eat it as is. But this is just for a little bit of pretty presentation. Now I'm going to add my salad. I have here about a cup of mixed greens. I'll put those on the end there. If you really want it to be pretty, you can take your time placing everything, just so. And now I would like to top my salad with just a little bit of a pepper, so I'm going to thinly slice a bunch of pieces off of one of my boats and put those on top of my salad. Then we're going to use some tomatoes for the other side of the plate. I'm going to chop about three or four slices. And then I'll probably eat the other half of the tomato. <laughs> we will put these slices on the other side of the plate. And add a little bit of your green onions on top for presentation. When you're finished with the green onions, then you can use your lime dressing that you just made and drizzle it over the salad and the tomatoes. Now it's time to fill your peppers. So grab a pepper and scoop some of that cauliflower filling into your pepper. And we will place that gently on our plate and do a couple more. It's super fun and if you're feeling creative, you can make this little lunch even for your friends and family. Also great for a romantic dinner, even just for yourself, because you deserve it for eating such a wonderfully healthy meal. Now I added a little bit of smoked paprika to the top to give it a little extra color. And the salad dressing is seriously delicious. I'm gonna be using that more often, that's for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And today as my 200th day, I can tell you that I'm not going off this lifestyle anytime soon, so I will be back for more videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, like if you like, and comment below. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram, all at Raw Food Romance. Till the next video, guys, fruit on!